Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hello and welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola. Thank you so much for joining me today in our neck and shoulder pain relief yoga flow. Uh, shoulder and neck pain is something that I struggle with every day of my life. I have an old shoulder injury that I have to work through as well as a weird curvature in my spine that pinches on my nerves. Ah! So without practicing this routine every day, I would not be able to make it through life. I hope this helps you in your body as well. So first we're gonna get started kneeling. I like to always stretch out my toes every day. I feel that everything is a chain. Everything is connected from the ground up. So we may be experiencing pain in our neck and our shoulders, but the cause could be all the way down at our feet, pulling on our calves, pulling on the hamstrings, pulling on the low back, and so on and so forth until you've got so much tension pulling and tight and you just can't move. Ah! So starting from the ground up, let's go ahead and make sure that we're sitting on our toes. If you need to, just make sure that you slowly allow yourself to lean back. You don't have to go all the way. You can stay somewhat supported on the fingers if this is too intense in the beginning for you but I urge you to be able to sit all the way back, really practice that every day. So important, especially since we always stuff our feet into those foot prisons called shoes, <laughs> and we don't let them breathe or move or stretch. Uh, they get really neglected, so. All right, and then while we're sitting on our toes, we can also be stretching our neck. So go ahead and take this left hand behind your back, and I'm going to grab it with my right hand and pull it over to my right side as I allow my neck to drop to the right. Now you can always leave a comment below. Let me know where you're feeling most of your pain at. Is it in the very back or side of your neck or is it more on the tops of your shoulders? I usually feel mine right, right on the top of my left shoulder and I feel a pinch always happen kind of along the side of my right side of my neck. So just let me know what you're feeling. We can definitely gear our videos to help you. Hmm. Just take your time here. We are going to go so slow. I do not want to rush our rehabilitation process here. We want to give our shoulders and neck enough time to really feel these poses out. I'm not going to do a whole ton today. We, we don't want to overwork anything and just aggravate it even more. Too much of a good thing can sometimes be bad to you. Go ahead and switch that hand grip to pull to your left and letting your neck drop off to the left. I'm breathing. Hmm. And if you're feeling any pinches anywhere, kind of starting to feel one right here in my neck, you can just kind of back off of it a little bit. Remember, we don't want to push anything past what is just a, ooh, that feels good, but we don't want it to be like, oh, ow. <laughs> know your bodies, take your time. Patience is key. And if this toe thing, if you're like, dear God, how is she still on her toes? You can untuck and then rock back, lifting a knee or both knees. Go and release those arms and just let your head drop forward. Hmm. Hmm. Bringing that spine back to neutral. And then looking up and slightly back. Again, we don't want to really crunch the neck here. We still want to keep all of its length, keeping those shoulders pulled back and down, reaching with the back part of our scalp up. Oop, just felt a pop and lightly 
bringing it back. The neck should have a natural curve in it. Mine actually curves the opposite direction it should be. Hmm. Do any of you have the same thing going on in your necks? I know it's pretty common nowadays with how much we're at our computers or looking at our phones and we get all here and we're like, whoa, we're not even, we don't even look like humans anymore. We don't even stand properly anymore. We're always out here and we're really just always putting so much tension in the neck and the shoulders. I want to bring that chin back, really get everything nice and tall in its alignment. And then we'll go ahead and take our right ear to our right elbow. Back to center. Left ear. Ooh, can't go as far on this side. To the left elbow. Again, reaching out and then over. Mm. Taking extra time with the side that needs it the most. In order to find balance in our bodies, we don't want to overwork the open side and underwork the tight side of our body. Head back to center and forward. We want to do just the opposite. We kind of want to push our bad side a little bit more and just go a little bit easier on the more open side to find that a balance, bring everything back into alignment. And breathing, we're always breathing. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Bring head back to neutral. And then reaching it up and long with the back of the scalp. Then letting the chin drop back slightly. We want to grow that neck nice and long. Pretty ballerina neck length. And back to center. Right ear to right shoulder. Again, reaching up and over and down. You want to find that length before we fold. Hmm. When we sit for long periods of time or we're standing, walking, gravity just pulls on our spine and compacts it down like a trash compactor. And what we want to try and do in yoga is bring the length back. Let those fluid filled sacs between your vertebrae refill up. That's how you get herniated discs is when your vertebrae, they start to squish together and they push that disc out and the fluid pops out and then we're like, ow, it hurts in this spot. We wanna re-pull apart that vertebrae, let that cushion fill back in so that way we can have that space and be able to move freely in our bodies and not hurt. Hmm. And back to center. And we're going to reach forward into our cat cow. Go ahead and take those knees under your hips, placing the wrists under the shoulders. I like to re-tuck my toes here. Feel free to tuck them anytime you want. Again, we're always trying to stretch, stretch our feet out. We're gonna create a little micro bend in our elbows here and Coming to a really neutral spine, just really practice some length here. We're curling the tailbone down and forward and reaching with the top part of our scalp. Nice long spine. And on your next inhale, go and let that belly drop and look up. Again, we're not over crunching here. We still want the length. We still want the shoulders back and down. And exhale, rounding up, pressing those shoulders away from the ears, and inhaling, belly sinking, 
and exhaling rounding that spine tucking the tailbone tucking the ribs saying hello to your belly button hello belly button inhaling curving that spine exhaling moving at your own pace here you do not breathe the same take your time try and make your whole movement last the entire length of that exhale or inhale and try and make that inhale or exhale last a whole minute if you can really taking your time here we are not in any rush And inhaling when you're ready to come back to neutral. Next, we're going to step our left hand out further. And then we are going to thread our right arm underneath that left arm. And then we are going to press down into that shoulder. So my palm is facing up and my body is pressing its weight down into my right shoulder here. And this is just kind of there to help me balance and twist. You can try to look up at the ceiling here, or you can just keep the neck neutral. Mm, really pressing in with this, the left hand. Mm, and breathing. Mm, you can massage your vocal cords. Hmm. Hmm. Really just sink into this one. Hmm. This feels really good. Hmm. There are always some poses I find where I'm just like, oh, I just want to stay here forever. I could fall asleep. Hmm. And parting is such sweet sorrow. Moving on to the next hand, reaching that right arm up, feeding that left arm through. And again, either twisting that head to look up or keeping it nice and neutral. I definitely feel this one on my rhomboids. Mm. Muscle that starts from middle of your shoulder blades kind of wraps down around the side of your ribs. Mm. Again, breathing, really relaxing here. Hmm. And when you feel good and stretched, go ahead and come back to a child's pose. Hmm. Again, take your time, do whatever feels good in your body here. You can revisit a pose, you can 
stay longer in one. You do not have to stay with me the whole time. <sighs> Reaching those arms nice and long. <sighs> and we can walk our arms out to the left here. About 45 degrees. Ooh, and really stretch that right arm out. Pulling on that back shoulder, trying to keep the hips square and facing forward. We want the stretch to be up in our shoulders. Mm. And of course, breathing. Mm. And just sink into this one if you want. Or stay active. Every body wants. The body gets. And then bring it back to center on your next inhale. And exhale, reaching over to the right. And holding forward. Mm. Now the stretch should really be happening all along here. Mm. Mm. And on your next inhale, bringing your hands back to center. All right, and then again, taking your time, but whenever you're ready, go ahead and press up into a forward fold. I like to sometimes just walk my hands back. Kind of gives me a hamstring stretch too, which again is really important when we're trying to just release our spine and take that tension off of our back and neck. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to lace my hands behind my back and pulling them back behind me and then just letting them sink forward. Letting gravity tug. I'm not holding any tension in my neck. If you need to, you can always do a slight bend in the knees. Really give a nice back release here. Sometimes I like to give a little bounce. Mm. Again, nothing crazy, don't go wild. Mm. Just trying to trick the muscles into relaxing. And breathing. Feel free to come out of this if at any time it's too much for you, or you can always lessen the arm pressure, but this is a great muscle relaxer. Oh, and we didn't have to take any pills. Oh. And letting those hands come back down. I'm now going to grab each elbow and just let my head hang between my elbows and let my elbows fall to the mat. I'm not holding anything here. I just really want to feel gravity tugging on my spine. Hmm. Really opening the neck here. Every time I inhale, I'm expanding that rib cage and reaching that neck. And every time I exhale, I'm just sinking down and letting go. Oh. Thank you, gravity, for helping me stretch my spine today. Mm. 
it almost feels like I have somebody just lightly tugging my elbows to the mat. Creating that laffy taffy pull. Again, you can bend the knees if you want to really just make this a nice back opener. Give a few little micro jiggles here. And really try and relax, relax the neck and spine as you do this. This is just to trick them into going, oh, I can loosen up. Oh, I'll wiggle free. And breathing. All right, and then go ahead and straighten those legs. If you can reach the floor with your hands, try and step on the palms of your hands. If you need to bend your knees here a little, that's totally fine to reach. This kind of makes me feel like a gorilla here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my feet into my hands as I try and pull my shoulders away. Hmm. So I'm really stretching the sides of my shoulders and I even feel this down into my back, really letting the neck go. Stay pulling, stay lifting, and exhale. Go ahead and lightly step out of your hands, and then you can come back to kneeling. And then just go ahead and make sure that your toes are untucked. We're going to lay down in a closed legged child's pose here. And instead of taking our hands directly in front of us, we're going to actually reach them out behind us, kind of by our feet. You can even give your feet a little massage here. And breathing. And then just letting the shoulders relax and kind of drape over your knees here. Hmm. Every time you breathe, expand that rib cage, creating as much space as you can, expanding and exhaling, melting down. Actually, just gonna keep on giving some foot love here. Just give some light squeezes. Play around with what feels good for your toes. I like to squeeze my heels, kind of get in the arches with my fingers, and kind of press on the pads. Of my feet. That's just before my toes start. Even get into the toes a little. Hmm. Feels good. Hmm. Hmm. I could fall asleep here too. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if you want to stay in this pose longer, please feel free to do so. If you're ready, you can go ahead and sit back up. I like to give myself a moment to let the blood just kind of come back to normal. Mm, keeping that spine nice and tall. Mm. Maybe just lightly check on your mobility here. Mm, this has helped. Have you found more problem spots? <laughs> mm, again, always going slow with the neck. We never want to jerk anything around. Mm, thank you so much. I really do hope that helped you in your neck and your shoulders. Please let me know again um, where your specific ailments are. We will definitely try and tailor our flows to suit your needs. 
please subscribe to the channel for more future awesome yoga videos as well as please favorite this video if you want to come back to this this is a great thing to do in the mornings you can always just kind of memorize too after a while the different stretches that we do and just throughout the day sitting at your desk revisit it thank you so much and i hope to see you again namaste